Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars Black Series video. This time I'm just going to be looking at a custom that I've been wanting to do this video for weeks. Um, but yeah, I really only just the last sort of week or so finished the weapon for for the, my updated Black Chrysanthemum. Um, which yeah, I still need to give it a clear coat. I just haven't got around to getting down to the hardware store and getting a can of um, clear paint yet. Um, just to just basically give it a sealing coat. Um, and there are a few little patches I'd like to fix up with the black first. So basically I've got a hold of some green stuff um, and that is used majorly by customizers and people that use a Warhammer and, and that kind of thing. But I was able to, you know, bulk this figure up quite a lot. If I just sort of put him back a little bit, um, yeah, particularly through the chest, I was able to bulk that out a lot. Um, so that now the armor, this sort of belt and stuff, sort of, it fits a little bit more snug. It's not so loose hanging around the figure, which was, because, you know, it was basically just, it was a Chewbacca repaint. And I did talk about that in the review as well. Um, so I was able to go, and you can sort of see some of that sort of green where the, the paint has sort of rubbed off, which is why I really need to get that sort of seal coat on it, um, after I've touched up those spots with black, um, and I'm also going to finish painting the uh, the braids on the back so that they match the brown on the front. Um, so yeah, I was able to add, you know, just just adding bulk, you know, here on the arms, up the top of the arms here. You can sort of see it. And if you've got your, your Chewbacca or your Black Chrysanthemum figure on hand, you can sort of see where I've, where I've done it. Yeah, a little bit of fingerprint has sort of come through, um, but that's not a big deal. I'm not too fast. But yeah, I may have been able to make the fur a little bit bigger on his arms just, just to sort of bulk him out a little bit. Um, I was almost going to go as far as, you know, making the legs a little bit longer too, um, but decided against it. Instead, I sort of bulked out his thighs, um, both on the outside and inside, just to make him feel sort of thicker and heavier. Um... And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, and yeah, just sort of added a few spots around the rest of the figure. Didn't do too much with the bottom of the legs because they're sort of a nice sort of solid. Um, but you can sort of see the sort of shininess of where I've painted it with the uh, with the acrylic black, um, which is why it needs to get that sort of matte coat seal over the top. Um, and then I sort of added a bit of depth with some greys and some whites um, just to give the fur a little bit of extra extra lift, particularly on the face. So if I just... Now this was pretty solid black. Um, there wasn't much sort of shading or anything. But yeah, just sort of added some whites, some greys, just sort of lightly brush, dry brush them on there. Um, just gave Kish Santon the a uh, little bit more weight to the figure and then of course I also used um, a bronze to sort of paint repaint his armor and then I think it was a dwarven bronze wash to sort of sit in all the cracks so you can sort of see you know in amongst all the patterns and, and stuff it's little a few little darker spots there um, and yeah I'm, I'm honestly I'm pretty happy with the outcome um, yeah it took a little while to do um, it's probably been sort of sitting on the table for a couple of months. Um, yeah, just, just really getting around to finishing it off. And of course, the uh, the weapon, um, given that he didn't really come with a good weapon, he just came with Chewie's Bowcaster, I decided to sort of customize it using a little bit of a, you know, free reign over over what I did. Um, but I used the Bowcaster and some parts from spare figure and Dan figures. Um, and, you know the band instruments and just sort of turn them into barrels for a for something a little bit bigger a little bit more you know his size but yeah just took a little bit of creative freedom just to sort of keep bash something there and I'm, I'm happy with it I do want to give that a you know a coat of black as well just to just cover it maybe you know highlight some details with some with some silvers or something like that um, but yeah again given you know my my living sort of arrangements at the moment I don't really have a workspace that's uh you know super practical for me at the moment so I've just sort of been doing it when I can where I can um but yeah really hoping to get a nice sort of clear mat 
uh, coat over this guy at some point very soon. Um, yeah, just got to dig out my paints. I did sort of go through and organize all my model paints and stuff, so that's a nice tidy little box now. Um, so I get it out and sort of just touch up those those bits where the paint's sort of worn off um, or I mispainted. Um, so yeah, not a big deal. But yeah, this is something I've wanted to share for a little while. So um, yeah, I, you know, we're all pretty disappointed with what they put out, but but for me now, when I get my collection all set up again, um, I can have this guy sort of standing in amongst the comic figures, and uh, yeah, I won't feel so bad about about having him in the collection. <laughs> um, yeah, I also um, I feel like I did something with the head. I may have lifted that up a little bit on the peg. The head wasn't going to move anyway, um, and uh, I, think, I can't remember what I did exactly. It's <laughs> Like I said, it's been a little bit, but yeah, I've got to say the head sort of sits nicely over the armor now, um, but that still sort of allows a little bit of movement either side, um, just for those arms. But um, yeah, for the most part, I'm I'm pretty much done with him. I'm happy with what I've done here. So yeah, I'd love to hear some thoughts. Send out in the comments below if you've got any other questions um, about how I did this. I feel like I've explained most of it. Um, but yeah, feel free to drop a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video.